Hey guys, Marauder here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you this. I found this at a garage sale nearby, and find this very interesting, and I thought you would too. Now, obviously, you would look at this and assume, well, it's just a folder with Pikachu's face on it. And who cares? It's a back-to-school folder for some kid who likes Pokemon a lot. But upon closer inspection, that says Kellogg's on the side. And for those of you who may remember, Kellogg's had a promotion going with a lot of their products, Pop-Tarts and Kellogg cereals that would have Pokemon toys in them. So, upon closer inspection, that's what this is. This is a sales binder for Kellogg's products during their Pokemon promotional. And a lot of their stuff would come with Pokemon toys, such as this one right here. This is a Poliwag spinner, so the bottom would spin. You'd get this on a table and spin it like a top. There were other ones, but this is the one that I still have from back in the day. So let's look a little closer at this and see exactly what's in this folder. So this is the front of the folder with Pikachu's face on it. Looking all cute and Pikachu-esque. There's the back and the side, which again says Kellogg's Pokemon. So you open it up, and this is the name of their promotion. I do still remember this from back when I was playing Pokemon. It was the Ultimate Pokemon Master Promotion. This summer, thousands of little monsters will invade supermarket cereal aisles, and that's not even counting all the kids. Huh. So it tells you when it's going to start. Oh, it hits stores July of 2000. Okay, so it's later than I thought. Plus, there's a couple Gen 2 Pokemon down here, so... Must be sometime before July of 2000. So they're saying it will help you capitalize on record-breaking Pokemon sales. We'll offer multiple Pokemon premiums featuring the hottest characters from the new Pokemon movie and the new Gold and Silver games. And then they list a couple, Togepi, Meryl, Hoot, Hoot Hoot, Ladyba, and Elekid. It's their biggest promotion ever. Pokemon was huge, so this makes a lot of sense. An integrated event licensed product, over $20 million in marketing support that includes TV and print advertising. So this is probably something they would present to a store to entice them to be part of their promotion. Places like Walmart or Aldi's. So then they've got it divided into various sections, cereal packages. This is the first one with Meowth on there. I really like these dividers. Oh, there it is. There's the top. So these came in Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. And I think that's fruit snacks, if I'm not mistaken. Pikachu in all packages, or... So it lists what's going to be in what box. The Kellogg's Pokemon website. Packages and Tice Kids to catch them all, battle them all, and master them all at ultimatepokemonmaster.com. Website catapults kids into a Pokemon world of games, prizes, and virtual versions of the package offers. Log on to website to enter to win a Pikachu car. Oh, let's hope there's a picture of the Pikachu car in here. So this one is Convenience Foods. Has, I believe that's Meryl on there. Pokemon Metallic Battle Figures. Oh, I have some of these. I do. I have some of these still in a box. Um, so those were in the Pop-Tarts, so the, okay. Retail versions of Battle Figures not available until 2001. Collect all three. Order these three 12-count flavors to drive volume in sales. Okay, so they're saying make sure you order so you get all three, so people buy all three to get all three figures. Pokemon keychains, I don't remember these as much. Free inside 16-count packets of Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treats. So we got Pop-Tarts, Rice, Kr Rice Krispie Treats, and Cereals. Pokemon CD-ROM by mail. This I do not remember. It's one of those weird, like, half CDs. It looked kind of like a GameCube disc with the sides cut off. Educational CD-ROM from the Learning Company featuring games and fun facts. So again, this is just listing 
a Pokemon syrup pour. Oh, Pikachu looks so sad. It's like they caved in his brain to fill it with syrup. I don't... Oh, that's morbid. But apparently you could get it in, <laughs> in Kellogg's Eggo Waffles. Kellogg's Snackums. I don't remember Snackums. That had tattoos, I guess. All right. Licensed products. There's Squirtle. Pokemon cereal. Oh, so they actually had a specific Pokemon cereal. Again, it's one of those where all they did was make little marshmallow shapes and put it in basically Lucky Charms. Although it always seems to work. Okay, they had specific Pokemon Pop-Tarts with the little candy bits on the Pop-Tarts being Pokemon. I, I do remember those. Pokemon Eggo Waffles. I do remember these. Oh boy, do I remember Pokemon Eggo Waffles. Yeah, basically just a waffle with the Pokemon stamped in the middle of it. So this one is merchandising with Zapdos there. Lenticular Wobbler. Oh, okay, so this is something they would put on the end of the aisle. So as you're going down the grocery aisle and look down the cereal section, you'd see these stick out of the shelves. So you'd go, oh, they got Pokemon, let's go there. Try to get the kids, because kids would notice this. They would notice Gengar and Pikachu. So this is probably some of the displays you would get. So free Pokemon toys, display header cards. So that would probably go at the end of an aisle. So you could make a little display, put that at the top of it. Again, get kids to kids to notice it. Standees and pole toppers. Oh yeah, of course. You'd have cardboard cutouts of... So I wonder if this is stuff you could order? I know there's an order form in the back of this. Potential display module. Okay, so they'd sell you the whole whole box maybe? Build the ultimate Pokemon display with merchandising. Oh, yep, here we go. I do remember seeing this. Pokemon National POS Order Form. So you, if you wanted it, you'd fill it out with what you needed for the store. Probably mail it back to Kellogg and they'd send you all the stuff. There's some more. This is on really thick paper. This is not like... This is not like regular computer paper. This is much thicker. Pokemon's serial promotion module combinations. Okay, so it gives the dimensions of what they send, so you can see if it fits. The the SKUs for your... Um, if you owned a store and you were trying to keep track of stock, I'm guessing case codes, what's in each case, what you're ordering. So there's Marshmallow Blasted Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks, Smacks, Rice Krispies, Corn Pops, Fruit Loops, and Frosted Flakes. Oh, here's some of the module options. So th these would probably get shipped via a truck to the store, wrapped in plastic. See, this is some of the stuff you don't think about when you go grocery shopping. Imagine if you were the guy who had to order all this, and you didn't order Gengar's stuff. Internet program. Elevate sales with the special Pokemon website, catch them all, master them all, and Kellogg's packages, and log on to ultimatepokemonmaster.com. Find B, the Ultimate Pokemon Master Program offers win Hasbro prizes. Oh, okay, so they literally are just saying, there's a website, because that's... Oh, what browser is that? Is that... No, it's Internet Explorer. It's an old version of Internet Explorer. So this is support information. So public relations... Limited edition cereal, Pokemon promotion kickoff. So this is all the stuff they will help you do to get the word out that you have Pokemon in your store, I guess. Yep, the kind of support they're going to give you with the Pokemon TV show, PSAs, and TV support. Cereal and promotion spot. Dedicated 30 second spot. Echo Waffles, 10 second spot for licensed waffles. Pop Charts, dedicated 30 second spot featuring Pokemon. Yeah, so it's just telling you, like, what kind of TV ads are going to be 
Oh, when they'll run? Look at this. TV spots print ads F FSI. I'm not sure what that means. Public relations. June, July, and August. So it's going to run later in the summer when the kids are home from school and can bug their parents at the store for Pokemon. Kellogg's and Pokemon Progressive Grocer Contest. Build an eye-catching display showcasing three or more participating Kellogg's and Pokemon brands and you'll be eligible to win. $4,000 to $2,000. Okay, so they're trying to get stores wanting to build these displays, offering them some kind of contest. I'm guessing that's like an internal store contest. So this one is account specific. Back to school kits, in-store POS. Recommended timing August of 2000. So yeah, this would have been around the time of Gold and Silver's release. Kellogg's Nintendo 64 Game Pack Sweepstakes. Consumers enter for a chance to win a Kellogg's Pokemon Master 64 Game Pack that includes a Nintendo 64 game unit and controller and three exciting Pokemon Nintendo games. Games include one of each. Yellow trading card game and the recently released Stadium. So you get two Game Boy games, a Nintendo 64, and a copy of Pokemon Stadium. I wonder if you even had... Um, if you didn't have a Game Boy, like if you just had a 64 and they gave you the two Pokemon games, I suppose you could use those when you get a Game Boy. I don't know. It's just weird they don't include just throwing in a Game Boy, because at that point, I think it was the Game Boy Color, and those are pretty cheap. Recommended timing, July 2000. Recommended brands, prize structuring, in-store display sweeps material. What is this? Kellogg's Menu Marketing Program Order Form. Okay, so it's another order form for display stuff, I guess. Account-specific marketing. Maximize sales with these in-store ASM programs. Another order form. Ad slicks. I've not heard this term before. Oh, so this shows what the this shows what the products are actually going to look like. So this is what the Smacks box is going to look like, the Rice Krispie treats, and so on. That's fascinating. Be the ultimate Pokemon master. Yep, there's Pop Tarts. Rice Krispie Treats. Oh, I do remember some of these boxes. There's the CD one. I don't remember Nutrigrain bars being all that popular, but... Yep, here's another one, just not in color. I prefer the color one. Yep, and then I think, by the way this is feeling, that should be the end of it. These might be something you would put in your circular, like in front of the store so people knew what was on sale, maybe. Because it says now only zero dollars. And that's it. And back again. And the front again. Well, that was the Pokemon Kellogg's I guess it's an advertising booklet? I just found this really fascinating. It really has nothing to do with gaming per se, but I just found this so amazingly interesting. I thought you might want to take a look. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Kellogg's Pokemon sales binder, I guess? Anyway, this has been Marauder, and I'll catch you in the next video.